Hey, 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 everybody. This is Victor Brooks, and welcome back to the Victor Brooks Show Instagram Indie Fam Series. Thank you all for taking your time. Those of you who are able to join us live, thank you, thank you, thank you for, uh, for coming on. And uh, I know, you know, Sundays, it's a, it's a time when we are, it's our day to kick back you know, and do what we want to do on that day. And the fact that you're taking your time live to come on, I truly appreciate you, y'all. And those who are watching on our larger audience, on the recorded, on the on the page later after this episode, uh, as long as Instagram lets us keep on there, you know, hey, that's where we'll be. And we're learning now how to edit these episodes down to make it a part of our YouTube channel, the Victor Brooks Show YouTube channel, Please go to the Victor Brooks Show YouTube channel, like and subscribe. See, I'm learning my lingo, you know, for all this, but uh, go check it out. I'm pretty sure you'll recognize a number of the names of the people who joined us on the Facebook Live, uh, many artists and, and people who shared their lives, their journey. And this is why we developed this format here on Instagram, because it's all about the artist and their journey. The, 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 the importance of artistry. It's what the world needs right now. Uh, hey, John Willis, my brother out of Chicago. Johnny Willis, 2421. Thank you for joining us, man. Thank you. Uh, love you, man. Oh, right on. Right on. Uh, just, oh, hey, just Lenny. Good afternoon. Hey, how you doing? How you, Monte Brigado, mi amiga. Muito obrigado por seu tempo hoje. Muito obrigado. Muito obrigado. Who else do we have here? Uh, we have, who else do we have here joining us? Everybody, just come on in here. Because I'm so excited about our guest today, Hannah Uresti, out of joining us live out of Los Angeles, California uh, today. Trumpeteer, performer, artist, and uh, I can't wait to get into her journey. You know, like I do, I scroll down and I see the the sponsored clips of the artists that, that are coming on and then something just grabs me and, and, and pulls me in. That's what Hannah's did for me. And uh, I said, gosh, I hope she doesn't mind coming on here. And when she said she's ready to do it, uh, it was fantastic and it is fantastic. Marta, thank you for being here. Uh, Brother Potur out of India, at our previous guest, please follow Harishika Patur's page, ladies and gentlemen. He came and did his episode. He's out of India and he's a photographer. And the, the, when you go to his page, you can see the passion through his lens, you know, of what it is that he's given the world. He's telling the truth with the world. He's giving, he's giving us what we need, which is what art does, you know? And that's why we have to do, we have to do, you know, and I'm not the only one. There's so, there are others, but I thank you for joining me when you can, you know, because when you join me, you join us. And you're joining the Indie Fam and the Positivity Posse, y'all. Let me uh, see. Oh, here it is. It's there. So we can bring Hannah in. Let's to go live. But uh, yeah, y'all, thank you so much. I see you too, Mariana. Hey, Hannah, how you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm too blessed to be stressed. That's what I want to say right it. now. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're joining me from my from my other hometown, L.A., oh, California. Yeah, you know it, <laughs> Los Angeles. Right. Los Angeles, man. Now, is that where you're from originally? That's where you were born and raised there. No, I'm actually from the Bay Area. I'm from Union City, California. Uh, born okay. and raised there. I lived there all my life. <laughs> right and, on. Uh, right yeah. On. Yeah. And did you grow up in a musical family? Is music something you were born into or uh, well, how music or artistry, I should say? Well, um, I wish I was born into a musical family, um, but I actually wasn't. Uh, surprisingly, I did have parents who loved music and appreciated all genres of music. Um, my mom was into R&B growing up, you know, so I grew up with a lot of R&B. And my father is a huge 80s fanatic. So I grew up with a lot of Depeche Mode, Oingo Boingo, 
you know, <laughs> just, That's right. just That's all right. of that good stuff. Um, the only person who did play an instrument in my family was my grandfather. And, um, that's about it. Honestly, mm -hmm. I am the only mm -hmm. one out of generations that I know of. That's so I'm that bringing it back. <laughs> bringing it back. You know what? Whenever we, I'm, I'm able to talk to artists who are like yourself, who didn't, weren't like surrounded, like parental or what have you in the house with musicians or artists, you know, whatever the gen genre is. Yeah. When did it hit you that you said, you know what? I'm kind of liking this artist thing. How was it at a young age and when did it hit you? Well, you know, at a young age, um, for Christmas one year, I did get a drum set. Um, I didn't know what the heck I was doing and I still don't know what I'm doing on a drum set in today's okay, world. Okay. So I really, drums weren't for me, but I liked the music I was, that was in my head that I was, thought I was playing. Um, yeah. And, you know, um, back in the day we had cassette tapes. So That's I would right. record That's my right. own right. um, cassette tapes like, my remix or something you know yeah, something yeah. very silly um hopefully i can't find any of those anymore. <laughs> that'd be very embarrassing um but then you know just like i always loved dancing i always just loved listening to music i had a great cd collection um my godfather gave me so many jazz cds that um you know helped me develop more sense of different genres in the world and different sounds and emotions and feelings. Um, and then one day in middle school at 11, you know, years old, um, I was in a random activities coordinating class. I still don't know what that kind of class that is, but um, they told me, uh, they told the class, you know, we have one more spot open in the band program. And I was the jokester. So I was like, Oh, I'm going to raise my hand. And I got picked. Wow. And so wow. I tried out a few instruments and just so happened that trumpet resonated with me. Um, I had a great tone from the beginning, oddly enough, because usually you have okay. to work years to build that and it just came so natural. And um, I wasn't good at anything else, to be honest. Wow. <laughs> at that time, sports wasn't a thing for me due to asthma and um, education. Of course, I was getting A's and B's and things like that. Um, but I just didn't see myself doing anything else. And music was uh, another source to project my voice and my feelings. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what really got me hooked, to be honest. It just somehow that instrument was put in my hands for a reason. And it was just another opportunity that I was grateful to get to use it as a speaking uh, instrument for others. You better go ahead, sister. That's right. It was like, first of all, what hit me was the story itself. And then when you said it was like, you know, I started playing it for a reason. And then it was almost like, let me ask you something. Can we get etherical for a minute? Can we get like artistically, you know, etherical? <laughs> I mean, because it's almost like sometimes when I hear the stories of phenomenal musicians such as yourself, um, it's like, and would you say almost like at that age, it was almost like, okay, trumpet and you finally met. It's like trumpet was on its way to find me or to say, Hey, I'm here, you know, or was it? Yeah. Do you look at it that way? I mean, uh, I mean, it could be for sure. I mean, it was definitely something that it's a feeling that I can't really describe because right. it became like my life, you know, immediately. Like I knew from yes. the moment, you know, not many people are have this feeling or, or thought process, but the moment I had the trumpet in my hands, I knew in 11, um, in 11th grade, when I was 11 years old, um, yeah. Yeah. that that was what I wanted to do the rest of my life. It, wow. it was some, I already wow. planned out my life as in life goals, <laughs> you yes, know, we hit yes, obstacles. Yes, <laughs> um, yes, yes, I planned out my life goals with the trumpet. And of course they changed a little bit throughout, you know, growing up in the years, you know, but it just resonated for me to know that that is what I'm good at, what I'm great at, yes. what I want to work on to be even better at, or the mm -hmm. best ability that I can be. And um, really develop a sound for myself because gotcha. um, it's easy to copy and paste what's already been done. 
You know, the mm-hmm. will has already mm-hmm. been invented. That's right. Um, That's right. And it's it was my turn to to speak what I yes. went through, my trauma, what I see through oh. my eyes. I, you know, growing up in the Bay Area, you see everything. That's you know, right. it's a blessing in disguise. Um, so with that, right. as a child, you know, you you appreciate a lot more. I think growing up in the Bay Area, and you have more of a story. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, just because mm-hmm. you're put right yes. then and there. And yes. uh, once I found out uh, more jazz music, like Freddie Hubbard, that yeah. just fueled Freddie Hubbard's my number one uh, gotcha. favorite. Gotcha. Um, yeah. Yeah. But there's a lot of other greats, but he's just uh-huh. my personal great. Okay. Um, okay. But once I discovered him and his playing and how he sounded through the horn, what made him different from everyone else really made me think this is how I am. He mm-hmm. has his story and his story mm-hmm. is going mm-hmm. through that mic and resonating with so many people. And I have a story. So, Great. you know, Great. I think that's the best part yes. about being a musician. Once you're able to find your unique self, that's which it. is tough because it takes years and a lot of self-development and acceptance. That's right. That's right. And a lot of failures. <laughs> Come on now, a lot of failures. Oh my goodness. What do you what do you say, Hannah? It's good and terrible, like we used to say in Memphis. It's good and terrible, you know? <laughs> yes. and, uh, and, and what you're saying resonates, and I knew it. I knew it. I said, yeah, and let me tell you why I knew it. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I wish I could tell you why specifically, but I felt it when I was listening to your music, okay? And your music and your artistry, Hannah, has a um, it has a, a openness to it that makes you say, "Hey, it's like a big hug." Well, it's like here's my arms. Come on and get this big hug. Yeah, kind of a thing. And that's the feeling that I was getting when I was listening to you. Even from that's what brought me back to your clip when I was Thank scrolling you. through. I said, "Look at this!" And your new release is even that. It has a an openness to it, you know, yes. how would you describe your, when you just so beautifully put finding yourself, finding your own identity, which is so important as an artist. Yes. What, what, how would you describe what your mission is? What is your feeling personally as an artist? Well, you know, as an artist, um, you know, like I've already said, finding your unique sound is what sets mm-hmm. you apart. And, I use that because I feel we're as humans, we connect in that way as an energies. And when you have a certain energy, it gravitates towards people, whether they like you or not, whether they agree or disagree, it's, they start listening and it makes them feel a certain way. And that's my part as an artist. I want people to feel what I'm feeling. And if you don't feel exactly what I'm feeling, which is okay. I want you to feel what you're feeling. Get in tune. I want my music to make people think back to good memories or bad memories or just memories that really, really made you or that Mm. you really appreciate. And, you know, the way I play is I, I play lyrically through my trumpet. Which I could you break that down for maybe those who may not under lyrically interpretation yeah. lyrically. So what do you mean? It's as if you know when you're singing, you know you use your voice, you have words, but in when you're playing a trumpet, um, there is no words; they're just sounds or tones. Mm-hmm. You know, so I have to use that as my words, which is why when you hear my melodies throughout my all my songs mm-hmm. you can sing to it you can scat to it you can whistle to it you could hum it but right. it's still it's not i want to say simplistic mm-hmm. but it's in a very educated form where gotcha. you can take it mm-hmm. and then use it in the way you want to use it go ahead go ahead so That is the way that I go upon, you know, my artistry, my writing, um, what I really want people to feel. You know, my music is meant to make you feel good or just in general feel some type of way, because I think we've gotten lost 
yeah. where we are in today's world with music. There's a lot of great songs mm -hmm. today, and there's a whole lot more bad songs. Um, That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's but right. I we're, we're losing the artistry point of what is your sound? Everyone mm -hmm. is simply copying, pasting, which I've already said. And it's time for you to develop your sound that makes you unique because music is supposed to make you feel ways. Music mm -hmm. is supposed to move mountains. Come on you know? now. Not me. That's right. That's right. I don't even know. People don't know how yeah. to move, yeah. you know, anymore. Yeah. You get on the dance yeah. floor, people don't know how to feel their own energies and feelings. <laughs> you know, even just sitting That's on right. the couch till even my new song, All yeah. Right, you can yeah. sit down, you can have a nice, you know, little bourbon, yeah. cigar, a joint. <laughs> I don't know, whatever you I partake That's in. Right. That's right. That's know? right. And you can just yeah. vibe out. And yeah, that's what I want yeah. people to do is we're not, you know, we're moving too fast. And instead of focusing on our own mm -hmm. emotions and what we're feeling on the inside. Yeah. That's right. You know, girl, mm, can, I've got to do my commercial right now. Indie <laughs> fam and positivity posse. I, I knew it. And I know yes. you know it now because I see your hearts and I, I, I see your, you know, your thumbs up. Uh, what do you call it? emojis and what have you? I'm a dinosaur. I'm learning it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like, you know, ladies and gentlemen, this is what it's all about. This is why we do this format. And like I said, I'm not the only one. I'm not invent like 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 Lady Hannah said just now. I'm not inventing the wheel. But what we're doing is giving our own interpretation of the artist and their journey. And what we hear today is just what we need every single artist do you it's good it's bad it's up it's down but it's real all of it write about it paint a picture about it write a poem about it do a movie about it make a dance routine a teen about it do a comedy stand-up about it make a new dish about it you know culinary arts Whatever it is, your self-expression is the medicine for the world. I really believe that. If I didn't, I can't do anything but believe that, ladies and gentlemen, because of what I've been through as an artist and what Lady Hannah's given us real right now, of what she's been through as an artist and what you've been through. Hannah, do you really believe that art can change the world? I definitely do believe that. I believe that for years, um, you know, just even at a young age, um, I knew it could change um, the world just because, you know, music can change your emotions. Yes. You know, if you're angry, you're listening, probably, assuming, to uh -huh. death metal uh -huh. music or gotcha. something that is very loud bass, very drum yeah. heavy. And there's yeah. nothing wrong with that at all. No. Gotcha. But it makes you feel a certain way, right? When you're right. listening to jazz music, it makes you possibly relax. Or if it's bebop, maybe not so relaxed. Mm -hmm. That's a different mm -hmm. genre. Mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. you know, um, just music helps people. Yeah. And when you listen to the right music, you know, any genre helps people that, you know, whatever resonates with you, any genre. It can help right. relax you, help calm you, help get you pumped. You Come know, on if now. you're at the gym That's working right. out or out in nature going on hikes or whatever you know you have some kind of rhythm some kind of beats yeah. like a drum beat something you know there's no one on this planet that can say i hate music i don't listen to music that's a lie you've been listening to music while you're in the womb from yes. day one you know you were swimming in that stomach kicking around yeah. to music right, right, you know right. um the ocean itself yeah is music you get it so i believe that it can you know it, can it, it could it possibly create world peace uh -huh. <laughs> like we wish okay but okay it can at least change people's mindsets from a negative mindset to a positive gotcha there you go right on i co-sign 100 percent because even as an artist i don't know well yeah like you mentioned we express what we feel. If we have something we want to say, we express it in our artistic way, whether we're painting it or taking a picture of it or writing a song about yes. it, right? And that's all we can do. That's all we can give. But, which leads me to my, you just clicked a, 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 a bulb there, that sometimes as an artist, 
I, and I always reflect to myself because I can't judge anybody. I hate that whole thing. I don't have a robe and a gavel and even sometimes they're suspect. <laughs> but my thing of the whole thing of judging, I can only take to me that artistically things that I want to say some over my life as an artist at 56, I say, you know what? There have been times and uh, nobody wants to hear this. <laughs> oh, this melody I may be grooving that melody for I don't know how long, but then when it comes down to really take it to the next level, my artists sometimes have has done to me. Eh, nobody's going to get yeah. it, you know. So, but it, but I missed the point that maybe someone will, yes. like you just mentioned. We may not cure world peace, but a heart per heart of what we're giving personally yes. through our fears what have you i really believe that somebody else is going to feel it maybe it's one two three thousands how do you feel about that whole thing or how have you dealt over your artistic life and what advice can you give to other artists who go through those self-doubt moments well, those you know, moments are not good enough that happens probably almost every day you know as an artist because we're so creative and, yeah. but we're so doubtful at the same time, you know, right. we're, right. you know, being judged all the time. Oh, why, mm -hmm. why sing that? Oh, your song <laughs> sucks. Oh, that chorus you put, it's not catchy. Right. You know, everyone's entitled to their own opinions, right? That's great. That's right. That's right. But if you have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. Come on now. And that's right. Keep it to yourself say that in your own home it's safe in your own home but people mm -hmm. aren't ready for the backlash if artists were to actually come back and say here you go here's the trumpet you play come on here now you go, mr big that's shot right. <laughs> you, go. you know there you go. Um, that's right. people aren't ready for the hit back come on now. <laughs> and that's why come it on. also makes artists uh very special and unique because we're not fighters in that way you know, mm -hmm. we are people that take punches yeah. to benefit our listeners. And it Come sucks, on, you know, it has its ups and downs, but you're constantly struggling, especially with social media, which makes it even more of an opportunity to get hit, you know, mm -hmm. you know, through not physically hit, of course. Uh, right. I no, no, gotcha, um, gotcha. I really hope not. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, it just, those struggles happen all the time with me. I know personally, you know, you, you continuously look at other people, you're consistently being judged and it's hard to stay in your own lane and mm -hmm. you need to stay in that lane because everyone's doors and opportunities happen at different times. And you have to keep reminding yourself that, you know, mm -hmm. you can see someone doing this and you're saying, well, I can play better than them. Why didn't I get that gig? Or why didn't they mm -hmm. call me for this? Oh, I'm better mm -hmm. looking than them. Whatever the reason is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. everyone's doors happen and mm -hmm. when you focus on yourself finding yourself finding your unique self and sound yeah. which is what i've yeah. already discussed it yeah. sets you apart to where you're no longer looking left and right Come on. you know you're not like a tesla look it you know you don't need to you need a mm -hmm. car that just sees this way and that's an old yeah, see this way. truck that's right <laughs> that doesn't have that's technology. right no, 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 no. You know so what? You, you just hit on. Go, go ahead. This way. And when you finally see your lane, that's it. That's it. And it takes a lot of beat down and a lot of negative times. You know, if you're not getting down mentally, I feel like you're not challenging yourself as well. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. then you see yourself above others and you see yourself right. way better than others. And that's not how humans work no one mm -hmm. is better you may that's think right. so but we all have demons and dark past and no one I'm is better it. i'll tell you that's that. right that's right but you need to humble yourself and find mm -hmm. yourself and that mm -hmm. is really the toughest part as an artist i would say and just mm -hmm. how to get through that is constantly telling yourself don't rely on family and friends to say you're the best i love you they don't, they're not with you 24 seven, you know, mm -hmm. the only person mm -hmm. at the end of the day, who's going to really pick you up off your feet is yourself. Come on. So if you don't constantly mm -hmm. keep telling yourself your affirmations in the morning or whatever mm -hmm. it is that you need to, to tell yourself, 
What? Why? Why do you music? If you're not ready for yeah. a challenge, yeah. why do you music? It's the hardest job, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. well, there you maybe, go. You know, some people might want to argue, but it's a pretty tough job. It's up there mm -hmm. for the mental mm -hmm. effect. You know. There you go. It's there not you really go. More so playing. Anyone can mm -hmm. sit in a room for hours with no phone and no sound and practice. Mm -hmm. Now, thinking about that, saying it out loud, I don't think most people could do that these days. Mm -hmm. But back in the day before technology, yeah. you could yeah. easily do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right on, right on. Gotcha. There you but, go. <laughs> you know, if you turned your phone off now, your laptop and everything yeah, else. Right, right, uh, right. Days, you, you, know what, you know what you said, you really Hannah. Let me tell you something, sister. You know, and as our our our, our uh, Patricia Bolton has been watching, she's been with us ever. Thank you, Patricia, for being hey, Patricia. here. <laughs> but Hannah, you just meant you hit it right on the head because, you know, it's a whole. We used to say it's a whole nother thing when you get into that introspective artisticness of trying to create. And it's not trying to be, for those who may watch it later and say, oh, that's just, no, it's not trying to get too deep. It's not, well, in ways it is deep. It's yeah. real. And those of us, I see your thumbs going up, artists, you feel what we're saying right now, because when you really get real into it, and, and, and I'm going to go here with this, okay, y'all? Yeah. We are the Positivity Posse. Yes, we're the indie fam. We're going to find the upswing of it all. But the real is real. Even when people want to start expressing themselves with guns, with knives, mm -hmm. with violence, and putting that out to physically affect the living or dying of another person, yeah. the artist historically has had to go introspectively, even at times to write those words, take those pictures, express the words and feelings through artistry and fight the battle for others who may not have know what they want to say or how they want to say it. And what Hannah just said right now, y'all, is so real because in those times where that artist pulls back, and gets into themselves, they do just what Marvin Gaye said, y'all. And Hannah, you remember Marvin said, the artist pays the price, so we don't have to pay yep. if we would only listen to what they have to say. Exactly. That's it in a nutshell. Yep, 100. You are totally you know? correct. Right on, Hannah. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah, what do you do with the people that say, oh, like what we just said, artists, you know, that's right. That's that's nice. You all live in the Wizard of Oz. You all live in Disneyland every day. This is the real, real of life. Yeah. Um, you know what? Um, like I said before, when you have nothing nice to say, <laughs> just, stay quiet. just don't say anything. Um, We're not even going to give it to them. That's I, right. I, I let people say what they want to say, right? Because... Yeah. You know, we live in a place where you can say how you feel. And, yeah. you know, you have two ways to do it. Either accept it or react, and then you're going to get lashed back, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, you know, when people want to put, you know, let's say my music down, or maybe they don't care for my music, you just take it in because you have to realize not everyone is going to like your music. Not everyone is going right. to like you. Some That's people right. know your past and already can't move forward. You know, they mm -hmm. can't move forward from what they know, unfortunately, you know, for certain mm -hmm. individuals. And that's sad because w with music, you're telling a story. You're telling your feeling if you're creating real music, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we need to allow people to express themselves, just like we allow people to express themselves saying your music sucks. That's right. That's right. So if you have something negative to say, then you need to hear me out on why maybe I did what I did. Mm -hmm. And if you don't want to hear me out, then maybe you have something wrong with yourself. And maybe you uh -huh. should go to Walmart and buy a $10 mirror and stare at it for an hour and try to see how long you can stare at right yourself on. and fight yourself. Right because on, many people in this world today cannot, unfortunately. The problem isn't 
everyone else around us. Yeah. It's yourself. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. And a That's lot of it. people don't want to face that sad fact. Because if yeah. we all fixed ourselves in a perfect world, mm -hmm. there would be so much more good rather than bad happening. Sure. sure. And we would have better reasons and knowledge as to why we did do something silly or something that may not have been in a in our morals or family morals or whoever's, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So really you just ignore the toxic or just let them speak because they that's have right. something wrong with themselves and you can't help now. everyone. You're not a therapist. You I'm a musician. That's right. That's, that's right. a whole other that's job right. title, which we all respect yeah. and many people yeah. need to see. Yeah. You know? That's right. So that's, right. uh, that's how I go upon that. <laughs> There you go. Hey, go on and I'm going to ride with you. I'll shotgun it the whole way because, see, you know what? I want to ask you this. I want to ask you this. How do you feed your, your time? For me, it's best for me to, I, I'm an ambivert. I'm like introvert, extrovert, okay. right? So it depends on, I don't know, the crew or the energy that's around me or whatever is where I go with that, right? But when I create or when I'm in that creative thing, I need like, you know, a whole, I, I'm more of a by myself or kind of a thing, you know, like artistically, you know, I, but when I begin something, but then I love the energy with other people when we collab and that energy is going great, you know? Yeah, no, um, really so I get out of town, I'll get some, you know, I, I think I work, I, I'm in Brazil since 96 every, so I could just get away and get that thing in me, you know, over yeah. there with writing and performing in a whole nother language and a whole nother culture. And it's, it's another thing. So that feeds my energy right yeah. what feeds yours what what feeds you to keep creating well you know like i said earlier um when i was 11 i created my own goals and dreams yeah. and you know at 30 years old now whew, besides my back hurting i still have <laughs> a, um, a few of those goals to hit and that's what drives me uh, okay. you know i've been fortunate enough to make the goals uh, or many of my goals happen all of the goals have happened, but a few. Right. And that was hard work and determination and eliminating toxic noises and people. Mm. <laughs> Created mm. noises. Um, but what really drives me is, you know, my mom always told me I was going to be a superstar. And I don't have a child. <laughs> no offense if you do, but I don't want one right now. I got you. I got you. <laughs> I got you. Um, right. Because I have these goals that I need to complete. Um, uh -huh. but I have a feeling that when you have children, you know who the good one is and you know who the dud is. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and not the okay. dud being the silly one. I mean, as in, you know, the superstar, the one that's uh -huh. really gonna make a change in the world. Okay. Not to the family name or anything like that. Like make a change in this world. Gotcha. And uh, I have a brother. I love him. He is also very talented. So if he's watching, yeah. please don't think something silly. He is also very, very freaking talented. Um, right on. Right on. But I think my parents got lucky, lucky that they have two children that are going to move mountains. And, okay. um, you know, that always drove me because I feel like when you have a child, you know, and you feel a certain way like that, it's for uh -huh. a reason. For a reason. You know, and um, that always like just stuck in my head like and it's not when I was little it wasn't like oh I'm gonna be rich and famous and I'm gonna be part of the Illuminati and I'm gonna be one of the top people um right, right, you know, it right. was I'm gonna change the world with what I have to say with how I'm gonna go upon things I'm gonna make the people who don't listen listen I'm gonna make the people who disagree with me see where I'm coming from not agree with me because we don't want to force people but yeah. just to see where I'm coming from. Yeah. Just to see how I'm feeling. Open their mm -hmm. eyes to more feelings and emotions than themselves. And mm -hmm. that's what really drives me is, you know, when I make music, I really feel what I'm feeling. I'm not just mm -hmm. singing and playing mm -hmm. random notes because they sound good and they're in the correct mm -hmm. chord progressions. I'm not doing any of that. I went to school for all that. I know how to do all that. 
Mm -hmm. But when you go to school, you take that knowledge and then you create it your own, mm -hmm. which a lot of people don't do. Mm -hmm. And I'm one of the few. And I've realized that and I've accepted it and I love it. And it really makes a difference to those who listen to my music, to those who know me personally, who those who know my goals, you know. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's what really, really drives me um, to continue moving forward um, with everything that I've I've worked for so far. Okay. Much respect, much respect, Hannah. And like I mentioned, that you please give us the uh, the the all I re, I the the feeling of your new release is still here. It's it's, it's here forever now. But please give us the name of your new release. Tell us where we can find it follow it, download, support, all of it. Oh, thank you. Well, um, I do have a website. It is Hannah, H-A-N-N-A-H, U, as in the letter U, music, mm -hmm. you know how to spell music, dot com. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hannah, mm -hmm. U, music dot com. You can find all of my music there. If you cannot somehow remember that, that is okay. If you could just type in Hannah Uresti and my music shows up on all music platforms, Spotify, Apple, Bandcamp, Amazon Music, every, every single platform that is out there that is being created, it's up there. TikTok, yeah. um, Snapchat, everything. Um, you can find my music anywhere. My latest single, All Right, that is also featuring a great friend of mine, Walter Wax, amazing producer, amazing piano player. I mean, this guy is so flipping talented and awesome. uh, you know i had the opportunity to have met him a few years ago and you know when we play together along with a few other cats um our energies are in another mm -hmm. world i mm -hmm. i say when i play with walter and a few of our other friends um it's the best time of my life I'm, i i don't care if i play for an a-list celebrity b c yeah. it doesn't matter yeah. when i play with these certain yeah. people yeah. that is why I play trumpet. That is the reason why I picked up the horn, the energies. Yeah. So you feel yeah. a little bit of that in my single, All Right. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, there's more coming from me and Walter. I'm also working with Skev Beats, who's a amazing oh, yeah. producer, Ian yeah. Charlie, yeah. Andrea Lisa. I have a vinyl also coming out at the end of this year, oh, yeah. an actual vinyl. So get your record players <laughs> ready, get a new needle. Oh, yeah. um, yes featuring a lot of my talented friends as well that I've, you know, come across over the years who really have amazing energies and a mindset that is sets them apart from so many other cats in the nation. Mm -hmm. And um, so looking forward to that. But till then, I have 17 singles out on all music platforms and the okay. newest one being all right. So I really hope those watching can check it out and you know, just relax, chill, vibe out. I have different <laughs> genres of music. As you know, I have pop music. I got lo-fi. Yeah. I got hip-hop, yeah. jazz. I got a plethora. Oh, I I mean, to a ballad for crying out loud. Um, yeah. You know, I have yeah. everything in the spectrum for right now and mm -hmm. um, releasing more. There you go. Oh, my goodness. You know what? Well, whether you know it or not, you got a new brother from another mother in Victor Brooks. You really do. And when I get back to LA, we got to do something together. You oh, know, yeah. come on over and let's let's freestyle, bring the band over and just do some stuff, you know? Because oh, yeah. the energy is what, like you said, it's what it's all about. I, I feel like I could talk to you on and on and on. We can't condense this into this 45, 30, 45 minutes. But I just have to tell you, thank you so much for bringing your energy on here. Thank you so much for telling, for giving us an insight of your journey, you. of, of what makes you you, of what pulled me back on that clip as, as I was scrolling through on Instagram, you know? Um, and, 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 hey, Indie fam, hey, 
this is what it's all about again y'all we've heard the story of hannah we know her journey we've heard the inside of what makes hannah hannah you dig and what it is that is through her music because now we've heard it through her heart and her words that's why we do what we do y'all this is what we need to do and if you felt it and i know you did because i see your hearts i see your icons and for those who will feel this on the recorded which is our bigger audience go support go follow go download if she's playing live in your area buy that ticket and sit back and like she said chill let it go just give it what it let her give you what it is that she's got to give us y'all because it's about that hannah much respect sister thank you so you much Victor. It. thank all you right. very much all right you got <laughs> it we'll see you next time oh yeah i'll see all you right. in la right on all right <laughs> We'll see you there. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, man, y'all. Yes, 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 yes. Every Sunday, 1 o'clock and 2 o'clock for sure. But you know how we do it. Sometimes it might we might have a guest at 3 and 4, right? But we're going to come at you at 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock p.m. Uh, every Sunday, Eastern Standard Time. And I am bi-coastal between um, the the the... North Carolina and Los Angeles, California. So I'll be letting you know where I'm coming live from, but either one of those, please come back. Come on back, y'all, and get some of this positivity on you. Take a bath in it. Take a shower in it. Scuba dive in it. Skinny dip in it if you want to, but just jump in that pool of positivity. And when you come out, sprinkle it on as many people as you can because that's what it's all about. And we'll see you next time on the Victor Brooks Show Instagram Indie Fam Series. We'll see you then. <laughs>